Good day, engineers. So for this video, we will have our sample problem number one for the lateral earth pressure in the at rest condition. So sample problem number one states that a 4.8 meter high retaining wall supports a horizontal backfill. If the wall is restrained from yielding, given the back, uh, backfill is cohesionless with an angle of internal friction of phi which is 28 degrees and a unit weight of gamma which is equal to 18.2 kN per cubic meter, determine the magnitude of the at rest lateral earth force. So for this one, syempre drawing muna natin yung retaining wall. So yung retaining wall is magiging ganito yung itsura since horizontal backfill at hindi inclined backfill yung sinusuportahan niya. Then, sabi doon, we have a gamma equal to 18.2 kN per cubic meter at yung angle of internal friction which is 28 degrees. So, walang ibang ibinigay, wala naman tayong water table and hindi natin kailangan ng iba pang unit weight kasi automatically we will use this unit weight. So, ngayon, ang kailangan natin gawin is to have each... Uh, to have the pressure diagram of the soil. So, yung pressure diagram ng soil is ito, which is the single triangle lang kasi soil lang naman yung magkakaroon ng action dun sa binigay sa ating retaining wall. So, for our retaining wall, since ito lang yung susupport niya, we have to determine first the pressure coefficient or the at rest pressure coefficient using the equation given to us by Jackie. So that will be K sub O is equal to so lagyan lang natin siya ng rule lines so that will be K sub O is equal to 1 minus the sine of phi so that will be equivalent to 1 minus sine of 28 degrees. So, our at rest earth pressure coefficient will be equivalent to a value 0 0.5305. So, now meron na tayong at rest earth pressure coefficient, pwede na ngayon natin i-determine yung at rest lateral earth pressure. So, to determine the at rest lateral earth pressure, we just have sigma prime H, which is just equal to KO times gamma prime H. So, yung gamma prime natin, since wala namang tubig, automatically, our effective unit weight will be the given unit weight. So, that will just be equivalent to a value 0 0.5305 times 18.2 times 4.8. So, our sigma prime H for this given will be equivalent now. 2, so that will be 46.3445. So, this will be in kilopascals. So, ngayon, meron na tayong lateral earth pressure. We can now determine yung hinahanap na lateral earth force at rest. So, we will just use the area of the pressure diagram which is equivalent to 1 half times sigma prime h times the height of the retaining wall. So we will have 1 half sigma prime h will be equivalent to 46.3445 that is in kilopascals times the height 4.8 meters so our at rest earth force will now be equivalent to that is 111 
0.2268 So this will be in kilonewton per meter So ito na ngayon yung hinahanap nating sagot Alternatively, pwede natin siyang isolve using the principle ni integral calculus. So, let's say, kunin lang natin yung pressure diagram. So, syempre, alam natin na ilalapag natin siya on a certain coordinate axis. So, syempre, this will be coordinate na 0, 0. So, syempre, Yung coordinate nung nandito will be a value 0, 4.8 kasi yun yung height ng retaining wall. Then yung coordinate nung nandito will correspond to sigma prime h and 0. So that will be 46.34450. So yan ngayon yung uh, pressure diagram natin na nakalagay sa coordinate axis. So, ibig sabihin, kuha tayo ng differential strip sa kanya. So, pag kumuha ka ng differential strip, which is ito, we can have the thickness of that differential strip as d sub y, and ito will be a value x. So, ngayon, pwede tayong mag-determine ng equation of a line neto. Kasi, this one na line is automatically x is equal to 0. So, kailangan na lang natin yung equation nitong line na to. So, to determine that one, balik tayo dun sa slope intercept form. So, that is y is equal to mx plus b. So, yung m natin is equal to the rise divided by the run. So, our rise will be equivalent to, so, let's set this one as, ito yung first point, ito yung second point. So, that will be, yung rise natin is 4.8 minus 0. Then, yung nasa baba natin is a value. Siyempre, since this is the first point, so that is 0 minus 4.8 or 0 minus 46.3445. So, simplifying that one, our M now is equal to, that is negative 9,600. Negative 9,600 over 92,689. 92, so, ito ngayon yung slope natin. Then, our y-intercept will correspond to a value na tatama dun sa y-axis natin. Isa lang naman yun, which is yung 4.8. So, try natin kung yun yung lalabas. We have to substitute. Uh, 4.8 on y, then x is 0. So, that is 0 is equal to m or 4.8. Bala dito, sorry. This is 4.8 is equal to m times 0 plus b. So, automatically, yung m mo magka, uh, magka-cancel kasi m times 0 is 0. So, that will be b is now equal to 4.8. So, Ang y-intercept natin automatically is 4.8. So, we have an equation of the line which is y is equal to our m negative 92, uh, 9,600 over 92689x plus 4.8. So, ngayon, arrange natin yung equation in terms of y. So, that will be y minus... 4.8 is equal to, this is negative 9,600 over 92,689. So, dividing both sides by negative 9,600 over 92,689. So, our x now will be equivalent to a value. So, that is negative 92. 689 times y minus 4.8 divided by 9,600. So, ito ngayon yung gagamitin nating uh, area 
nung differential strip at ito na yung gagamitin natin to get the area of the pressure diagram. So, we have to use P sub O is equal to the integral of dA whereas the integral of dA is x dy. So, that is equal now to a value of the integral ng negative 92,689 times y minus 4.8 divided by 9,600 times dy. So, that is that has a limiting value of 0 to 4.8 kasi dun natin pa, mula dito sa 0 na to, paakitin natin yung differential strip hanggang 4.8. So, our value P sub O using our, uh, our calculator will be equivalent to, so now that is also equal to 111.2268. So, this is in kilonewton per meter. So, as you can see, kahit anong method yung gamitin natin, we can produce the equation or we can produce the at-rest earth force using the pressure diagram. So, that will be the solution for this sample problem number 1. Thank you for watching. Again, this is Engineer Rodolfo and don't forget to subscribe to Butch TV.